Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of our supplements and what is in my medicine cabinet with cold and flu season coming up. I just thought this would be a great video to share kind of what we use and what we have on hand in our cupboard here. Now we don't use over the counter stuff. We don't use the typical mainstream stuff. We like to use natural remedies, herbal remedies and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would just share with you everything that we have on hand. I also have a Facebook group called Natural Living with Christina. I will link it down below if you guys wanna connect with me on Facebook. I post sales for my favorite natural products as well as some other natural remedies and helpful tips and stuff. So I'd love it if you guys would join me there. So check out that link down below. So everything here that I'm gonna show you today, you can find a link for it in the description box or in my Amazon storefront. So I'm super excited to show you guys. Now, before I open these covers, let me just forewarn you, this is a real raw, like spur of the moment video here that I decided to do and it is not organized in there and I will organize it eventually but it's sort of organized but it's kind of messy so just keep that in mind um, so anyways this is the cab or cabinet or cupboard whatever you want to say that we have for all of our supplements here so I'm gonna take you through all of these and show you what we have the top two shelves are just storage and canning stuff and my pumping stuff and yes I have a little helper here okay so let me show you what we have here Yes, those are daddy's vitamins. Can you put it back? So how I like to organize all of my tinctures here is this little lazy Susan thingy. Um, I think this is from Walmart. It was only like five or six dollars and it just makes it so easy to be able to access everything instead of like trying to reach over and grab stuff and then I can just easily turn and see what I need here. Now if you notice all of these products here on this side are by Earthly. I have been using their products um, for like two and a half, almost three years now, and I absolutely love their products. They have a bunch of tinctures for all different sorts of things. They also have a skincare line, a baby care line, like so many different things. So if you wanna check them out, I'll leave a link down in the description box along with a coupon code um, for 10% off your first order. Um, I just absolutely love these products. They're amazing, and that is why I have so many of them. And like I said, I've been using them for almost two and a half years now, or right around then. Um, so I'll just walk you through all of the stuff that I have here. All right, so this first one is my multivitamin. It's called Nourish Her Naturally, and it's an herbal tincture, which is what all of these are here. And it's in glycerin-based, so it's not alcohol-based, and you just take a tiny bit. Um, I have these little um, stainless steel like shot cups or treat cups, I don't know. Um, I just put a little bit in here with a little bit of juice. It has a minty flavor, um, so it's a little strong to take by itself, so I just either water it down or add a little bit of juice. Um, so I just put all my stuff in here and I just take a little bit each day. This is safe for breastfeeding and pregnancy. It would make a great prenatal um, multivitamin and it is herb form, so it's actually uh, in a form that your body can actually utilize instead of a bunch of synthetic vitamins. So I get the eight ounce and I take um, half a teaspoon a day because I'm still breastfeeding and I absolutely love this. So along with this one, we also have the Nourish Him Naturally and this is what Simeon takes. It's got some great herbs in there um, to support men's health and so that's what Simeon takes. So again, I just get the eight ounce and I get it in the cap top instead of the dropper bottle just because it's easier to just pour out and measure. Okay, and then the next thing that I also take on a daily basis is the Energy Plus. This stuff is what I use instead of coffee. I love this stuff. It's got the natural iron and natural B vitamins from all the herbs, and it also has a minty flavor. So these two are what I take in combination every morning for my uh, multivitamins. This is the Sinus Saver. I have really bad allergies in the spring, so I always get this. It's got some really great herbs in there to help support your sinuses and to help like kind of natural antihistamine type herbs. And so this is what I used at the beginning of the season just to help, and it works best if you take it on a daily basis. So I usually get it like right as we're coming into spring so I can kind of get it in my system and um, it works great for allergies. Simeon also uses it for his sinuses because his are always like plugged up. And um, I'm actually out of this. I need to order another one um, because Simeon started taking it too. Next is this immune biotic. This here is a tincture with elderflower, astragalus root, echinacea, calendula, dandelion. Um, it is something that we always have on hand. This is not something that you take every single day. It's something that you take for three to five days at a time. So we usually take this um, like a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday when we're gonna be around a lot of people. Or if we're sick, we'll take it. Um, as a boost or something, but this stuff, we absolutely love this, and this is something that I always have on hand and we never run out of. 
One of my favorite products is this Cough Be Gone. I got the kids version, and the difference between the kids version and the regular is the regular is just an alcohol-based tincture, and this one is glycerin-based, so it's a little bit sweeter for the kids to take. And um, this is just an amazing cough um, tincture. It does not suppress your cough, but it helps to kind of like get everything out. Um, if you're sick and your body is trying to get rid of everything, you don't want to suppress that cough. You want to help support your body and just help clean it out and stuff. So this stuff is amazing. Miles used to get croup all the time, and so Cough Be Gone is something that I always have on hand, um, especially you know with everything that's going on right now. I don't want to run out of this, and this is something that you definitely want to have. So this Feel Better Fast is one of my favorite products. Actually, they're all my favorite products. I'm probably gonna say that about every single one. It's what I use in place of Tylenol for the kids. Um, the write-up on it is um, help your little one feel better fast, as the name suggests. Supports respiratory health, helps keep fever in a safe range, help little ones rest more easily, soothes upset tummies, which I've used it for myself for that, and it really helps. Um, and also can relieve pain. So this is something, my kids have never had Tylenol or anything like that, and so this is something that I use, especially like when they have a fever, this helps to support um, your body in doing what it's already trying to do. You don't wanna fight the fever, so unless the fever goes super high, you just kinda wanna let their bodies write it out, usually. Um, so this is just something that just helps them feel a little bit better, and this is what we always have on hand, and it tastes really good, too. So it's easy to get little ones to take. So next is this one, it's Digest Support. This has the digestive bitters in it, so you can take this um, usually on an empty stomach before a meal, or sometimes we'll take it like if we're having a little bit of indigestion or something like that. So this one here is the Gut Health Oil, and this one, it kind of tastes like pumpkin pie to me because it's got the pumpkin seed oil, um, but this is just to help promote overall gut health, reduce candida and parasites, and just kind of bring your health back into balance. Um, we also take this like for bloating and stuff like that. It has oil in it, so it's kind of like an oily consistency, so I'll just put it on a spoon and then wash it down with like a swig of juice or something. This Master Tonic is supposed to support the adrenal function as well as support your immune system and help your liver and respiratory systems perform at optimal levels. So I got this for Simeon because he sometimes just gets like really tired and fatigued and stuff. And so I got this for him to go ahead and take. I got the two ounces to just kind of try out at first instead of getting like the bigger one. But this is something that we will definitely buy more of when we need more. So then this one here is a special detox one and is not only for what it says, it also can help um, support your gut, heal leaky gut as well as detox heavy metals and support your health and immune health support. So this one is not just necessarily for only what it says, but it is also just a great detox overall. I've heard a lot of people that um, like this as opposed to like the TRS. I don't know if you've heard of that one. This one just has a lot of great herbs in a tincture form, and so you only need to take a little bit at a time, and um, it's just an overall great detox. And so there's actually a sale going on that is a flash sale for today only. All of their detox products and a few other um, products are 20% off with the code DETOX2020. I'll have the link down below if you guys want to check that out if you want to try some of their detox products. The other one that we have up here is the detox bath. This is like an herb and you kind of steep it in a tea and then you put it in your bath. This is a new one. I haven't actually tried this yet, but I'm super excited to try this. If you guys want to check out some detox products um, that are great, um, check out the link down below. Like I said, it's the flash sale only for today. Okay, and then this one back here, I'm not gonna show you what that is. That's just an Earthly product test product because I test some of their products when they've got new products coming out. So this one here is called Pain Potion. This is what I use in place of Tylenol for myself. Um, this is for ages six and up. So you don't wanna use this for the little kids. That's why I use the Feel Better Fast for the younger kids. But this is what I use for headaches, um, for my period pain, um, just, you know, everything, pain potion. This is my go-to, and it has like a minty flavor, so it's something that I can just take in a little bit of water to water it down, and um, it doesn't taste bad at all. This here is my absolute must. It's called Ease the Ache, and it's for menstrual cramping. I take this in com combination with the um, pain potion, and that is what I take for my period. This can actually be taken a couple days leading up to your period, and it will just kind of help you not have as many cramps and this stuff. I always have this stuff on hand. Also, I heard that this is great for like the after birth pains, um, cramping and stuff. So if we ever have another baby, I'm definitely going to use this for those after birth pains because 
yeah, they were way worse with Faith than they were with Miles. This one here is the Fertility Boost. We are trying to get pregnant with baby number three. This has um, some Vitex, red raspberry leaf, a bunch with, uh, with a bunch of other um, great fertility boosting herbs. Um, when I take this, I notice that I ovulate. I'm still breastfeeding and sometimes my cycles are a little um, wacky, but they are more regular when I take this. This one is a new product that I, new to me, that I just got. It's called UT Relief and it's to help um, if you have a some you know urinary tract discomfort. Faith has had two UTIs in the last couple months. So I wanted to add this to my arsenal just in case she um, starts experiencing those same symptoms again. I took this the other day because I wasn't sure if I had a kidney stone. It turned out to be a cyst on my ovary that had ruptured, but I took this just in case it was like a kidney stone. This is also another must have, the elderberry elixir, and I normally make my own elderberry syrup, but this one here is um, specifically the kids version. So it's glycerin based. It does not have any honey in it and it is shelf stable. And that is why I buy this one. So before Faith turned one, this is what I gave her um, cause it's safe for ages six months and up. And so I use this to give to her cause it's a tincture. So it's a lot more concentrated than um, if you were to make the syrup yourself. So you take a smaller dose. And then we also take this for traveling because it is um, shelf stable unlike you know, the homemade stuff and it tastes so good. There's no sugar in it. It's um, got the glycerin based. If you get the regular one, it is alcohol based, but um, we just get the glycerin one and it's sweet enough that the kids will take it, um, you know, even though it doesn't have honey in it. When I do make elderberry syrup, I buy um, organic elderberries from Amazon. I will link them down on my Amazon storefront. Um, we just make a super easy recipe. I I did a video on it um, quite a while ago, so I'll link it down below or up in the iCards or something. So that is it for all of my earthly products. All right, this here is a stragulus root. This here I just got at Sprouts and it is a something to help support your respiratory. I think it's an antiviral herb. I don't know, but I just wanted, I know some of the earthly products do have this in there, but I also wanted to get just a plain um, tincture with just the um, astragalus in it, especially, you know, with everything going on right now, if you know what I mean, this is something that we definitely want to have on hand. This, I got the liquid one because I wanted to be able to give it to the kids. And then also we take the pills here. Um, since the kids can't take, um, you know, pills, I just use this here. So um, I just get these at Sprouts. You can also get them on Amazon. I can link them down in my storefront. This bottle here is Vitex. This I've had for quite a while. And um, when I take Vitex, I actually ovulate and the Earthly um, Fertility Blue Boost has um, the Vitex in it. And so I had this for quite a while and I'm still trying to use these up. So I alternate each month between this and the, um, the Earthly um, fertility tincture. So I'm almost done with this and then once I'm done with this I can get some more of the earthly one. We have some vitamin D drops here. I don't really take these very much because the kids just you know we go outside so much so we're getting a lot of sun. We'll probably start taking these in the winter and I've got some teas back here. I've got the Earth Mama third trimester tea and these are not expired. They're not going to expire till next year. Um, so if we don't get pregnant soon, I'm going to have to just check these. I took these, um, when I was pregnant with Faith and Miles, um, during the last trimester, it's just really nice to enjoy this tea towards the end of your pregnancy. We also like to have garlic pills on hand. This is the brand that I buy. Again, I'll link everything down in the description box and the stuff will be found in my Amazon storefront. They have different um, formulas, but this one is specifically the immune formula. Um, I think it's odorless. I don't know. We've, we haven't noticed smelling like garlic when we take this, but it's an aged garlic extract and we use this in place of like antibiotics and when we're sick and stuff. So this is something that we always have on hand. So these two products here, we take um, colloidal silver and this is the only brand that we buy. This is like just about gone. And so I was just at Sprouts the other day and I ended up getting a new one. Um, you can buy it like in the spray top form, the dropper form, or even like a nasal spray form. Um, this we use sparingly. We use it in place of antibiotics. I don't believe in taking this on a regular basis because um, we just use it only when necessary, but this we've used for um, pink eye, for sinus infections. This is what I give Faith um, when she had a suspected UTI. Um, so this is just something that we always have on hand and we are never without it because we just, we use it a lot. We also, um, I use a little dropper and I'll drip it on cuts and stuff instead of like hydrogen peroxide 
Faith got poked really deep with a wire and so I would just put several drops a day on that and it helped heal it up and she didn't have an infection or anything like that. This here is also an absolute must have if you look up vitamin C therapy and high doses of vitamin C, um, you'll find that sodium ascorbate is the best form to take that because it's gentler on the stomach. I think it's buffered with baking soda or something like that. This is just in a powdered form so I have this little measuring thing and um, the dose is a quarter teaspoon so we just have that in there and we'll mix this in our juice and I give it to Miles and Faith of course you know they get a lower dose but this is one that you can take to like your bowel tolerance if you want to do a vitamin C flush. Um, when we're sick we take mega doses of this. Um, earlier this year when Miles, Faith, and Simeon had the flu, um, it was unconfirmed but they had like every symptom uh, of the flu to the T. I knew it was the flu. I took um, my bowel tolerance, sodium ascorbate, and I took several, and I mean several doses of elderberry every day and I did not get the flu even though I was holding the kids, taking care of them all, they're breathing in my face. We usually take this like on a regular basis, like one dose a day, but definitely like when we're sick or we feel something coming on, we'll start taking more doses. Um, this we just get through Amazon, and this is something that we are never running out of because I always make sure I have this on hand, especially um, during this time of the year. We're coming into cold and flu season, and this is something a must have. So, all right, so these next three supplements here, are for Simeon, the zinc, the L-carnitine, and the methylfolate, which is the true form of folic acid. You don't want to take folic acid, you want methylfolate. Um, so these are for Simeon, and I have this little pill organizer thing, because we are trying to get pregnant with baby number three, which we have not been successful, and I just went to the store, and I bought all these, because these were all the supplements that Simeon was taking when we got pregnant with Miles and Faith, and so we just, you know, Need to have them start taking supplements again and preparing our bodies for, whoops, for that. Zinc is also a great one to have on hand because it's great for the immune support. These two are specifically um, for male fertility. All right, this year I got at Costco a long time ago and these things, 300 tablets, one a day, last you like forever. These are synthetic vitamins that um, Simeon used to take and the reason why they're not empty, I bought these a long time ago, is because now he takes the natural earthly ones and these are just in the back of the cupboard so they're probably expired. Oh yeah, look at that, expired earlier this year so I'll probably just chuck this because these are just synthetic vitamins and I would rather him have the whole food vitamins plus we eat super healthy so I'm not worried about him not getting what he needs. Now if you notice we do have three um, of the traditional over-the-counter meds. We have the uh, Walmart brand of um, Tylenol and Ibuprofen here. These, I did not buy these, I don't use these at all. These are expired a while ago so I'm probably just going to get rid of them because I don't even know why we have them. We don't use them like I said, we use all the earthly products. So they're very expired, so I'm probably just going to check them and get rid of them. And then this one here is a cold and flu. Um, I think it's, I don't even know what the, oh, compared to NyQuil, so it's the Walmart brand. This is also expired. I think it was only used like once a long time ago before I discovered earthly. Um, we don't take this stuff anymore. We take the Sinus Saver and the um, immune biotic, feel better fast, and we also do neti pot and just all that kind of stuff so we don't take these anymore so I'm probably just going to chuck this since it's expired. I have this little organizing basket. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. I got these at Walmart. They're a little bit more sturdier than um, the ones at the Dollar Tree. So I just have these for like some smaller random miscellaneous stuff. Like I said, our little scoop here. And then we have activated charcoal that we have on hand for like when we have the stomach bug or um, food poisoning. That's just something to great, great to have on hand. We also just have some vitamin C. Um, I don't know why I have this on hand. I think it was more for travel and um, instead of using the powder. I mean, it's only 500 milligrams, so you have to kind of take a lot of this. But I think this was just mainly for travel is what I bought it for. Uh, these here are just some, I don't know, prenatal vitamin packs that I got when I was pregnant with Faith from the midwife. So I'm, I don't know, they're probably expired. I haven't taken them, so yeah. And then these are just some tea here. We love this tea. Oh, I have a bigger box up here. So it's the Echinacea Plus and it promotes immune function. I just get this at Sprouts and whenever we're sick, I'll just have a couple, you know, cups of tea. This is just super soothing. I mean, the tinctures are great to take too, but you know, there's something about hot tea when you're sick. So might as well get the immune boosting one. Um, so I really like that one. 
And then in here I have some vitamin D drops for, um, I think I got these when Faith, for Faith when she was a baby. And like I said, we usually only take these in the winter time. And then this is what I used to use for natural pain relief. It's a homeopathic thing that I got at Sprouts. Um, it's a pain and fever um, homeopathic thing. I think it's just about gone. Um, yeah, so this is what I gave Miles until I discovered Earthly. And so I haven't really given this to Faith. So it's just kind of in here. I forgot about it because my go-to is Earthly. This is some Dramamine I took a long time ago when I was super drowsy. I think sometimes I struggle with a little bit of vertigo or something like that. And so I took this a long time ago. This I think is expired as well. Yeah, this is expired so I'll probably just get rid of this. Um, so yeah, I haven't really had any bouts of dizziness lately. So I don't know what I would take. Um, but I'm sure I could come up with something, some natural supplement that I've got here on hand. And then this here is some homeopathic cough things. I got these for Miles a long time ago. Um, like I said, he used to get croup a lot. And so this is just a really easy tablet for kids to take. Um, especially because, you know, it just dissolves super easy. Um, so I used to give this to Miles, but since I discovered the Cough Be Gone um, from Earthly, we just haven't used this as much. Last thing I have up here is the um, Ricola drops here. They are the sugar-free ones, which um, I don't know. I used to get the pink bag one. Um, they didn't have the menthol in them. It was just more herbal, but I haven't seen those in a long time. So I actually don't really use these um, just because they've got the aspartame in them. I just want to say again how much I absolutely love Earthly products. I will leave their link down below so you guys can check them out and you can save 10% off of your first order. I have a coupon code. Also, don't forget to check out the detox sale, which is today only. So up here on the shelf in the kids' bathroom, I have a few things that I'll show you that I just have easily accessible here right above the changing table. So our nightly routine, we use this good night lotion and this is the lavender scent. This is what I used when I was pregnant. Oh, I still use it now, but I discovered it when I was pregnant and it helped with like those leg cramps and restless leg and stuff. So I put this on Faith. She sleeps terrible and we're trying to work with her to get her to sleep better um, without tears, of course. And so I normally put this on her and last night I put quite a bit more than I usually do. And I do have to say last night was our best night in a very long time. Um, so yes, definitely gonna keep putting that on her. And then this stuff, I cannot live without this stuff. This is literally the best stuff ever. It does not have clove oil in it. It has catnip, whole clove, and glycerin. So it's a little bit sweeter. Um, I just squirt this right in her mouth. And oh my goodness, this helps amazing. This is what I use for Faith when she's teething. I like that it does not have the clove oil in it because that's not safe um, to ingest and it's not safe for babies or children, young children. This stuff, it's amazing. I've also taken it when I had some tooth pain and it actually tastes really good. Next is a Sleepy Time Tincture. Um, I ran out of this, I need to order some more. This is what I had been giving Faith. She just sleeps absolutely terrible. And I didn't really notice that much of a difference when I gave this to her, but it's been a while, so I wanna get some more and try it again and see. Then we also have this Breathe Well Salve. I love how it comes in this oversized chapstick tube thing. It's super easy to apply like on the chest or on the bottom of the feet or something, but this is what we use instead of like the Vicks Vapor Rub. Um, I absolutely love this because there is no eucalyptus in this. So it's safe for, I think, ages six months and up. It smells so good and it really works with like that chest congestion. So I always have this on hand and it just, it, it works amazing. We love it. Then we also like to use essential oils. I love plant therapy. Um, if you are interested in looking more into essential oils, I strongly suggest you look into plant therapy. They have very pure oils. You can get their purity report right on their website. Also, um, if you want to purchase some, I have a um, $10 off code um, of your purchase of um, $25 or more. They have free shipping. They also have a rewards program. Um, I love how they have the kids safe line that's very clearly labeled so I feel comfortable using it on Faith since she's two now. Um, I've got frankincense and lavender and I like to give her a bath with Epsom salt with that just kind of for relaxing. Um, I don't do it every night but I do it a couple times a week. And then also we like the germ destroyer. Thieves um, is not safe for children because of some of the essential oils in there. Um, so this is like the kid safe equivalent. It does not smell like thieves, but it still has the same great properties. So I actually add this to their foaming hand soap there. 
and then also we will diffuse it if needed. Um, it does smell pretty good, so I like that. And then also the sniffle stopper for when they're a little bit congested. I haven't used this on Faith because, you know, she hasn't been congested, but I've used it in Miles' room when he's had a stuffed up nose, and this also works really good. And then this one here, I just ran out of this one. It's the Immune Boom. I would have gotten it like in, you know, just pure form here, but this I just already got the pre-diluted in the roller bottle because they were out of just like the regular one. And I put this on the bottom of their feet to just kind of help boost their immune system when they're sick or just, you know, each night during this season just to kind of help, um, you know, boost their immune system. This here is some homemade um, diaper rash cream or, you know, just all-purpose salve. I did a video on it on my Facebook page. Um, in my Facebook group so if you guys want to check that video out I can link it down below it's super easy to make and um, we just absolutely love that stuff and then of course this is the kids toothpaste we keep it up out of the way because um, both of them have been caught sucking toothpaste out of the tube and eating it so we keep that way up there safe out of reach this here is the thieves equivalent um, called germ fighter I actually honestly like this better than Thieves. It smells way better. This is not kid safe, so I just use this for me and Simeon. I don't really diffuse this, um, but I do use it just for me and Simeon. Okay, and then lastly, I wanna show you what is in our first aid kit. Of course, surprise, surprise, it's more earthly stuff. Um, anyways, okay, so I've got their all-purpose salve, and I just love how everything comes in this jumbo chapstick tube. It is, I believe, half an ounce. And this salve works great. Um, we use this for diaper rash, for, you know, cuts, scrapes, anything, um, all-purpose salve. We use this in place of Neosporin. We also absolutely love the black drawing salve. This has charcoal in it as well as some other things, and we use this for um, mosquito bites. We use it for, I've used it for splinters. You could use it for poison ivy. Um, I've used it also on my blackheads, on my pimples on my face. This stuff works amazing and we always have this on hand. They had a sale a while back on these so I stocked up so I have a whole nother set um, back up in our closet. Okay, this one is called a fix it salve and this one says for the relief of sore muscles, um, minor wounds, bruises, lymphatic congestion, varicose veins. This is just, you know, fix it everything. You do not want to put this on a cut. It has magnesium in it and it will burn. Simeon accidentally got these two confused and he put this on a cut and yeah, he was like, wow, that burns. Um, again, in the same great chapstick tube. I've used this on like some sore muscles, like on my ankles and stuff. And um, you can also use this for lymphatic drainage if you have swollen lymph nodes. Um, that's a great thing to have on hand. This also here is a great thing to have on hand. It is an Arnica salve. So um, any sore muscles or bruises, the kids bump their heads or whatever, which happens a lot, you just pull it out and you put a little bit of this on. You don't want to put this on an open wound, but definitely for bumps and bruises and, you know, sore muscles. And can I just say again how I love how it comes in this really nice application tube. Super convenient. You don't have to like scrape your finger in. I do think they... Um, recently came out with a bigger size of these in a tub but I like having these in this little bag for travel because whenever we go somewhere or someone gets hurt I just pull out my magic first aid kit and we're all good um, okay so then I have some band-aids and then this um, also in here is a bug bite thing um, I've used this like for splinters and stuff um, also mosquito bites my mom sent this to me because we went camping and I lost count after 40 40 mosquito bites um, yeah, I looked so funny. I literally had black dots of this all over myself. And so my mom, after we got back, she's like, here, you need one of these. Um, I did use this and it does help. Um, so yeah. And then also, of course, in here, back before I stocked up on this. So this is probably very expired. Oh yeah, it expired in 2018. <laughs> is the uh, Walmart brand of Neosporin. So yeah, I'm just going to take that out and chuck it because we don't, we don't use it. We use earthly stuff, if you haven't guessed by now. So I got it all organized. Look how beautiful this is now. And I wiped down the cabinet and it looks great. I also filled the little pill things for my husband. So that is everything I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and were inspired by some of these products and maybe gave you some ideas on some new things to try. Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite natural remedies are. I would love to hear from you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.